Hey friends, welcome to Finland Media. A colossal container ship that ran aground in the Suez Canal, has ensnarled one of the world's busiest shipping lanes in a marine traffic jam. It's just like having an accident on the interstate, that accident shuts down all lanes of travel, and everything will then start to back up. The Suez Canal snakes through Egypt, which serves as the sole connection between the Red Sea, and the Mediterranean Sea. The Suez Canal opened in 1869. It's a sea-level canal, without locks, connecting major bodies of water at different altitudes. It normally takes a ship 13 to 15 hours to cross from one end to the other. It's been widened over the years, with the latest project in 2015 at a cost of $8 billion. It's operated by Egypt, through its state-owned Suez Canal Authority. Canal revenue for Egypt was $5.6 billion in 2020. The 120-mile-long waterway has become a vital shipping passage and can accommodate as many as 50 ships a day, quickly linking markets in Asia, and Europe. Roughly 10 to 12 percent of commercial shipping, and about 2.5 percent of the world's oil makes its way through the Suez, it's second only to the Panama Canal, the world's busiest marine throughway. The Gargantuan Ever Given, which the shipping company Evergreen Marine built in 2018, is a golden class container ship. It can carry as many as 20,000, 20-foot-long shipping containers. The push to build increasingly larger ships may partially be to blame for the Ever Given's precarious situation. The scale has gotten so big that a lot of the infrastructure has yet to catch up with the size of the ship. The 1,312-foot, 200,000-metric-ton Ever Given created a shipper's nightmare, and captured the public's imagination when it blocked the canal, and caused a traffic jam of more than 200 ships. The Ever Given, which is owned by the Japanese company Shuai Kaisenksha, was on its way to the port of Rotterdam from China, when it became stuck after a sandstorm blew through the region. Visibility plummeted and wind gusts reached speeds of up to 31 miles per hour. The Ever Given is stuck near the Egyptian city of Suez, about 3.7 miles north of the canal's southern entrance. It's in a narrow section of the canal, about 985 feet wide. The bow is aground on the eastern bank, and the stern is on the western. At least 280 ships, carrying everything from cars to oil, to grain, wait at the canal's northern and southern entrances. An analysis showed more than 300 ships were en route to the canal over the next two weeks. At least 10 tugboats have been brought in to reposition and refloat the vessel. Authorities disagree on how long the canal will be blocked. The ship's owner said, its goal was to free the vessel by the night of March 27, 2021. So, now what's next? Before we look further. If you are watching my video for the first time, please do not forget to subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications. Let's continue on to the video. The key to unstucking the ever given, will be lightening the ship's load. One way to do that is to empty the ballast tanks. That solution, however, could destabilize the ship. Another option would be to unload the ship's cargo, but that could prove difficult without the necessary equipment readily available. In the middle of the Suez Canal, there's no infrastructure for that, so that would mean getting a crane barge alongside, and then taking those boxes off one at a time. With a ship as big as the ever given, the effort could take weeks. Delays could cost global trade $6 billion to $10 billion a week. The uncertainty has forced some shippers to alter course and take the longer, alternate route around the Cape of Good Hope, in Africa, adding weeks to their destinations, and increasing fears of piracy. Some have contacted the US Navy about increased security. The impacts of the Ever Given's precarious situation could be passed on to customers in the form of additional delays, higher prices, and bare shelves, impacting everything from fuel to sneakers, to TVs. Thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, 
the global shipping industry has faced several shortages of setbacks in the past year. The obstruction of the canal could set off or domino effect of delays. Ports strategically plan their labor needs and offloading capacity, so even minor delays can snowball into large delays that have the potential to derail entire supply chains. They could become overwhelmed by the influx of delayed ships, on top of ships that arrive on time from other locations. As authorities scramble to free the vessel, the world watches in anticipation. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell button, in order to be notified as soon as I post a video. Thanks for